Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only, and today we're going to be playing Between the Stars. Now, this game is made by Isolated Games. They were kind enough to send me a key to their demo, and this game is set to release around the, fourth, the first quarter of next year, in 2019. I like how they have the little Kickstarter little hologram on the side right here. Where is it? There it is. So this game is getting kickstarted. So if you guys want to support their Kickstarter and if you enjoy what you see, I highly recommend you guys just go for their Kickstarter. I'll put the link down in the description. And plus you can also join their Discord, which I'll also put in the link to the description. So without further ado, let's get into it and see how it is. Um, James Scott or Jane Scott? We're gonna go with Jane. We've always choose male characters most of the time. Let's, let's switch it up a little bit. Don't really know much about the game. They just sent me the key and I was just thinking to myself, all right, let's see how it is. Um, for what I saw from like screenshots, it seems like a space shooter game. I've never actually played one. I think the only ones I've actually played were like this browser space game. I can't remember the name of it. It was on something called Big Point or something like that. I think that's the only space game I've ever actually played. I wonder if that game's still alive, actually. I'm going to look it up. I I feel like I remember what it is. If I remember what it is, I'll put it on the screen. If I don't, then, yeah, you guys know that I still don't remember it. Alright, I had to restart the game just because there... I just realized the game started on Ultra, and I don't have, like, the stream PC Alert. for that. Systems damaged. Warp drive pressure right. increasing. Crew, boost warp drive to full power! But, Captain... I said full power! That's an order! Yeah, that's an order. Do it now! Capacitors charging in four, three. But just yeah, I had to restart four. the game just because it was on Ultra. I My PC Warp does not successful. have the power to be doing on Ultra. It. But if when it's on, like, medium, it's, like, really smooth. Jeez. My it still looks analysis. pretty good, too. Starting damage assessment protocol. Testing oh. main engines. My scroll wheel? My. Oh, okay. So if I scroll like forward, damage. I go engines faster. Operation. Scroll backwards, I go slower. Testing and stop. navigation systems. My navigation system. The tilt push. Okay, there we go. Upside down, I go. Oh my god, that beautiful planet. Or is that a star? Is that a sun? A weird moon? I have no idea. But you can also spin. I'm going to forget which way is up. And you can also move Navigation sideways. Navigation systems operational. Testing power systems. Okay, so. Up arrow is all energy to weapons. Left is all energy to engines. Right is all energy to shields. Power distribution correct. If you guys look in the lower right, that is my energy level. Captain, it's drastically changing everywhere. In the oh. We've been oh, followed. What the hell? Prepare for attack. Don't worry, I'll take him out. Oh dear god, something shooting me in the butt. Hey, shoot me in the butt. Oh, I can zoom in with the right click. Begin moving. Oh, dear God. Alright. How oh, did we... No, okay, I don't think we took it out. I think it's still moving. I can definitely say... Like, this is... Look... This looks really weird to control, and it is. All right, I'm gonna have to do some maneuvers here. All right, he's almost destroyed. We got him. That's one. There's another one. Wait, is that is that one dead? I think that one's dead. Okay, it's this guy. 
I'm taking you down, dude. I'm taking you with me. Um, let's put all energy into weapons right now. There we go. Reinforcements incoming. We need more firepower. I mean, I would love more firepower, but destroy the ships. All right, I shall go after this guy. Come on, let's boost thrusters. Here I come, dude. All right, now that I got the hang of it, we should be doing a lot better. All right, who's who's next? Are we even hitting him? Yeah, okay, we're getting like hit markers. Let's put all of our energy into weapons. Okay, so we do have like a cooldown, as you guys can see on my crosshair. All right, let's put some energy into shields for now. All right, back to weapons. Back to shields until we can cool down everything. All right, back to weapons. And back to shields. Good work, team. Is everyone all right? Captain, I've just Somewhat. heard this news will cause a decline in crew morale. Scavenger ship. 64.7%. But I must inform you that the enemy bypass our shields. Two casualties confirmed. Okay, that's actually pretty dope that they have voice acting. Not many games actually carry voice acting anymore, which is really unfortunate, to be honest. Oh, oh, I thought I was, like, way further away than what I was thinking. Okay, so which button is it? I don't think I was paying attention. Okay, right, go forward. Go forward. Ah, okay. There we go. Okay, I have an inventory too. Okay. <laughs> they just remind you that, hey, we're on a Kickstarter. Alright, what's in here? Oh, we got some currency. Got some fuels and stuff. What is this? Okay. So, yeah, we got some common resources that we can use to help our ship expand. Seems like we do got missiles and stuff. Um, what's this? A corpse? Oh, we have dead people on our ship. <laughs> Good to know they died because of me. <laughs> System analysis. Critical. Repairs needed immediately. Hey, hey. All right. I know this. My, what's our current position? We are currently in the Thamesic sector. It is on the outskirts of the Interstellar Republic's headquarters. We should be able to reach it using our drive engines. Preparing warp drive. Hold on. I know you want me to warp drive and everything, but resources. Important. Important thing. Forward. This game is actually pretty cool. I, I won't even lie. Like... I'm actually enjoying myself. I'm, no, no, I'm not trying to shoot it. Go, go for it. Forward. As you can see, on the bottom, like, right, the top green is my thrusters. When I scroll up, I'm using my thrusters. If it's red, I'm going backwards. If it's zero, then I'm just paused. All right, let's let's just slowly maneuver our way this way, and oh god, move! You're you're in the way. Okay, jeez, we did destroy a lot of ships, didn't we? There's a lot of ships here. Go to that one.
We'll take that. All right, yeah, it, we do have to be like a certain amount, like real close. Has to be on a red, from what they tell us. Uh, let's go up a little bit, because I think this is the last one. It does tell us at the bottom right of what we get to. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you're you're kind of in the way. I'm not in the way, you're in the way. Okay, that's, that's not my fault either. So we got a common and uncommon one. Let's open it. See what we get. I could have be the resources. Oh my god. Why am I doing this? Oh, what's that? Oh, a missile. Throw it on. No, we can't throw it on. What about this one? Oh, we actually can. Oh, whoops. So what's this? Nuclear. Let's replace that. Alright. Oh my god, Jesus. What am I looking at? You're telling me to cl click on what? I can't see that. <laughs> oh. Okay. Um, where is this place you want me to go? <laughs> where am I? <laughs> okay, so I'm here. You want me to go? Okay. Oh, all right. I was trying to figure out where the hell was I? There definitely needs to be like a zoom in or something in here because that is not going to work. Warp drive engines damaged. Jump oh, well. impossible. Feels bad, man. Ugh. My. Is that it? Which is the closest space station in this sector? It's the trade station and terrace port. Okay. Set in the coordinates. Which way? Coordinates set. My situation report on Antaros port. Accessing database. This oh, we're... station serves as a crucial hub for business tycoons and mining sector speculators. Oh wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wrong way. Return full of materials from mining settlements. They also swear they have the best beet soup recipe in the universe. Oh really? Oh, we're definitely going there. I want some beef soup for sure. <laughs> Better be the best in the universe. False advertisement if it isn't. <laughs> this game is actually really cool. But this is actually my first time playing like a actual 3D traveling around the space game. And no, I did not play. Oh, hold on. <laughs> I don't know if I was about to crash into that or not, but yeah, let's try not to. But I never played No Man's Sky or anything like that. I wouldn't mind playing it. Okay, I guess we do have to just boost our way there. Because this is actually pretty slow. I was about to say, that's like really close. Okay, so they just want us to travel the rest of the way there. Captain Scott from the 5th Republic Fleet here. We request docking permission. Station control tower here. Dock at the assigned bay. Over. No, Receiving it. coordinates. I'm gonna crash right through it. Docking protocol prepared. Oh, okay, that's actually pretty dope. Yeah, you could definitely pull some maneuvers off right there. Oh, so, whoops. Is it right here? Ah, okay, so they docked for you. Good, because I would have, oh boy, I would have crashed right into the whole station. Because <laughs> I know I cannot. 
hope you can like walk around when a full game comes out or something. That'd be interesting. All right. What we'll movie begins to collect spooners and metallic objects? Sorry, I wasn't looking where I was going. Don't worry, are you hurt? You should be more careful. Oh, well. You know what? It's a demo. We could be a total asshole. <laughs> yeah, we're just looking for repairs, to be honest. Yeah, let's just go for the repair route. We walk together to your ship location. Yeah, you know, it wasn't my strongest flying. Definitely wasn't my best, but you know, it it works. <laughs> His mission bay. Okay. Two Earth Days. Okay. Well, you guys are going to read this, too. So, I'm just going to... Go ahead and, like, a pace to where you guys can just pause. Okay. That's very important, I'm guessing. But it's kind of funny that I just hover over and it does that. You are able to hire different crewmates for your ship. It's out of their positions. Oh, there seems to be crates here. We can scavenge these um, pods. Make funeral. I want to see if I can drag them anywhere else. But make funeral. There we go. Alright, so we got contracts, which are pretty much like missions. So, repair the ship. And it did buy some cargo. Is that pretty much it? I think that's it. Everyone to their posts. We must find that missing freighter. Captain, do you think it could have been an attack? Ah, uh, this is our new it's ship. Strange. Dope. If it had been an attack, the security systems would have asked for a security detail from the station, and they would have come to its aid. They could have used a signal inhibitor to cut communications. The asteroid cluster where the ship was seen doesn't correspond to any commercial route. Decree M22. Holy shit. <laughs> restricts commercial routes in order to get We are definitely going faster than the other one. This behavior would be a direct violation of organic space law 412 section 2/08. I wonder what they have full voice acting for like every dialogue. I doubt it though. That would be pretty cool. Just to have like a fully voice acted game. Especially for like tutorial and stuff. Alright, so we found the freighter. They're almost there. We've arrived at the freighter's last known coordinates, Captain. There doesn't appear to be anything here. Yeah, Hi. from what I see. Can you scan the area? I detect irregular radiation readings coming from the middle of the cluster. Okay, say no more. Let's take a look. We're gonna go right there. Actually, screw it. We're gonna speed up past it. Oh, dear God. Captain, <laughs> we found the source of the radiation. <laughs> we should proceed to scan. Affirmative. Uh, My, prepare the analysis module. That is Preparing a lot faster than system. I thought it was. All right, right click. There we go. Scan complete, Captain. It just took it's a lot a longer than I thought. It's calibration reticle. I am 98% positive that the damage and radiation emissions confirm a plasma cannon attack. This looks like the result of an attack. Mai, can you follow the radiation signature? 
Comparing samples. Similar readings found in nearby coordinates. Establishing route. Around and around we go. Where we stop? Um, well, this way. Actually, let's back at the station. It's this way. This way. This way. There we go. Now then. Full speed ahead. Okay, not not towards the asteroid there. Now full speed ahead. Ah, just a peaceful drive. So there seems to be like little skills we can use too. Oh, we have invisibility for this ship. What? Captain, we're being hailed. Shall we accept the call? Affirmative. Sure. Ex Cleo, commander of the Starship Insurrection of the Pirate Fleet here. I order your immediate retreat. This frigate is now under our control. Surrender oh, really? or we'll open fire. This is the captain of the warship Genesis of the Interstellar Republic. I demand you halt your activities immediately. Captain Scott? Of the warship Genesis? In that hunk of chunk? <laughs> oh, his weak point. You see on the you bottom left, you can see that weak point. So I do have rockets too. Ah, yeah. Been waiting for this all day. I'm gonna use my rockets and stuff on you. Oh god, hold on, hold on. Let me let me just adjust myself right quick. Alright, let's get out of here. We need some shields. Alright. Where are you bastards at? I can definitely say it's kind of weird aiming, for sure. Oh dear god. Chill, dude, chill. I'm not doing any damage to him. That's weird. Why well, they're hitting me just fine. Okay, let me just fix myself here. We've lost the shield! The ship will not hold much longer. Okay, there we go. I actually want to see what happens if I die. What kind of cool animations you guys got? Oh, oh dear god. Oh jeez. That actually looks really nice. Oh, wait, it just ends the demo when you die? Okay, well then. I thought it was just going to keep going or just respawn you, but apparently, no, that's pretty much all that happens. So I'm going to leave you guys with a cliffhanger, and we're going to end it there. <laughs> yep, not even going to go back and play it. <laughs> I'll play it by myself, but for those of you... Who have watched this video you guys can probably get the demo i'm pretty sure you can download the demo off steam actually so i would recommend you guys try it out and if you guys enjoy but like i said if you guys enjoyed the game do make sure to check out their kickstarter help them out so they can reach their goals so they can create the game and also if you guys want to keep up with the developers and the progress of the game Make sure to join their Discord, talk to them, ask them questions, give them feedback, etc., etc. But how do I feel about this game? It's, it's extremely fun. I, I I didn't expect the space game to actually be enjoyable. But like I said, I'm currently trying out new games, you know, getting the feel for different ones and seeing how I feel about them. This definitely gave me a different sight on some space games. But I actually, you know what? I think the closest thing I've actually played to space games are um, Battlefront 2, the classic version. 
know, you know those old space battles? That's the closest one I can actually say that it's kind of like this, but its combat has kind of like a different take. It actually has a lock-on inside of a... Um, inside of a um, Star Wars Battlefront 2, though, for space battles. But for this game, it doesn't have a lock-on. It's literally just free aim. It's all counting on your aim, all counting on how you approach the situation. You have invisibility, you have skills and stuff like that. Got rockets. It's a lot to take in, to be honest. It's going to be very interesting when the full game releases. And hopefully I can definitely get a key for that. So that's going to be pretty fun. If not, I'll just save up for the game. But with that said, guys, hope you all enjoyed. Until then, peace out.